We thank you that you inhabit eternity and hold the ages in your hand. That one day, as it has been a thousand years with you, and a thousand years is like a day, yet you have recognized uh, and operate within our standard of time. On this another rememberable day, in which we are remembered our hero men, be mindful of our own faults and bereavement of time on this earth. We do sincerely thank you for the brave men and women who have given their all at the due day of their life that we might enjoy life, liberty, and the pleasure of happiness. So let us deserve what they have done for us, but we pray that we may be stubborn awake to discern the meaning of life and to use our opportunity to preach and teach the good news of Christ to all nations and to live a religious life so constantly that you may righteously spare us from war and all troubles. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, in this precious time when war's cloud hung so heavily over us, as a nation, we are preparing ourselves for our general elections. For set those who keep the pleasure of war upon us and enable us to bring the wealth of freedom, holy light to them. Defeat, O oh Lord, those who organize principalities and power of weakness, who seek to destroy our nation by lawlessness. Violence, crime, 
immorality, impurity, and materialism. Give us spiritual strength and discernment to stand against all such elements in our society and to preserve the fruit of peace for your children and our grandchildren. We thank you most of all for the sacrifice your sons and daughters have done for this nation. And today, we are remembering them. Never consider their sins anymore, but we are praying that you redeem them from all their iniquities. May these days and this Memorial Day be our appreciation unto you, and let there be a grace upon our lives. We ask this to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Senior police officers here present, and our brave, our brave adherents, our chief inspectors, NCOs, and men, and our wonderful members of the media who have been so great to us and have been so cooperative with us. Today is a day of misfeeling. It's misfeeling because it's a day that we are sad because we are remembering our fellows who fell in the course of the duty to serve Mother Ghana. I said it's a misfeeling because it's also a day that the police administration since 2012 decided to remember our wonderful, our wonderful heroes. So it's a day, on the other hand, it's an appreciative day. That is why I said it is a day of misfeeling. As a country, as an organization, the police administration thought it wise to remember the sacrifices of all of us, and a special one for those who paid the ultimate price in the service of our dear nation, Ghana. We sign up to, in our various training institutions, to serve the people of Ghana, to protect life and properties of Ghanaians. In doing so, at times we need, it comes, it happens that we need to pay that ultimate price with our lives. And since we are professionals, when it happens, the administration said, let us remember these are wonderful heroes, our brave men and women on a day. And that's the purpose of today. As a region, we've been tasked to specifically visit four of such, families of four of such, who fell between 2016 and 2019. We are already in touch with the families and we'll be visiting them and have a gift from the Inspector General of Police and the Police Administration for the families to know that even though their heroes are not with us, we still and will continue to remember them every year so that the family will know that they join an organization that appreciates, that honors its fallen heroes. On this note, I would like to pause here specifically as a region to give, even though the general minutes of silence will come, to give a special one to our sergeant, our sergeant, our dear sergeant, Salifu Hafsula, who fell on the 24th of October on the road at a pump, trying to protect the life and properties of Ghanaians and especially the wonderful region, Central Region. He was knocked down by a truck and he died. So let's pause here and give one minute of silence for that hero and we will do the general one for the rest of them.
the soul, the wonderful soul of Sergeant Sally Fuhefsula rests in perfect peace. On this note, on behalf of the police administration, on behalf of our IGP, Mr. James Opal Bueno, I wish all of us well, and I want to encourage all of us to stand firm. The criminals should not win. We are ready to continue to serve motherland. We are ready to continue to protect life and property, despite what happens in the course of our responsibility and our mandated tax. I want to encourage all of you to know that you are in an organization that appreciates, that honors, even at the point of death. On this note, let us always remember the souls of our foreign hero, heroes, the souls of our fallen heroes who contributed in diverse ways and paid the ultimate price with their life. Thank you very much all. It's not time to observe a mini silence for our fallen heroes. A mini silence.
Salim.